thank a few people that put together this beautiful, beautiful evening. First of all, my wife, Grady. The extent of her creativity, I never see it to amaze me. And of course, I was the schlepper, Tefka the schlemilkman. I schlepped the hay, but that's about it. That was the extent of my contribution. And I'd like to also thank Angelina. Please raise your hand. And Paul, and Pauline, and Mark, who helped us with the program. Thank you so very much. And I'd like to also thank the Yeshiva students and my nephew Yankee, who read the Megillah. We take a few breaths now. Thank you so much. Just as a little introduction, if I were a fit man, if I were a rich man, what's the difference? Purim is supposed to be joyous. Joy has the power where we leap out of the boundary. God is listening to him as he expresses his fears, as he celebrates good times, because if you didn't believe it, frankly, he would not have expressed these things to God as if God is standing right, on the, right by his side. So whether it is whether we ask God for wealth or health, and certainly we ask God that we should experience life in a way that we're able to reconnect and strengthen our connection with Him, to be a little bit more spiritual, we have to believe that God is at our side. Please join in. The papers are on your table. And let's hear it for the Simcha Band. David here is going to help us with the lyrics. If I were a fit man.